Bienvenido a otro video del Colegio Boston. No olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita, darle like y compartir. Hi. Hello everyone. To welcome to our session in Zoom. I hope you you and your family are okay on this day. Well, today we are going to see a lesson and I'm going to explain to you the lesson about modal verbs, okay? So, let's start. So remember uh, that we are going to uh, be in contact uh, by Zoom in the sessions and you can uh, ask, us, uh, ask us for all the doubts that you have, okay? So let's start with our session, our lesson in Zoom. Well, today we are going to talk about modal verbs of speculation and deduction, okay? What are these modal verbs? These modal verbs are must, may or may not in negative, might or might not in negative, could and can't. Okay, so you have to pay attention to these modal verbs that we are going to practice all of them along this class. Okay, we must may not, might not, could or can't. This, remember, can be may or might, and in negative, may not and might not. Now, when, uh, when we are going to use these modal verbs, okay? These modal verbs, we are going to use them to talk about, when we talk about a, a situation, Okay, or to make deductions, when we speculate about the situation or when we make deductions. We use must, when we are going to use must. When we are certain or almost certain about something. We also use may and might not or could when we talk about something is possible, okay, when something is possible. And can't is when we uh, talk that something is impossible, okay? That you're sure that something is impossible. So here we have a chart. In this chart, I'm going to explain to you the uses and some examples to have an idea about this, okay? Must. Must is when uh, the certainty is definitely true, okay? Almost true. So it's when you are 100%. Example, there must be Lots of people working at home now. Why? Because why I uh, use must? Because it is must. Uh, I'm certain about this. Okay? May not. May not is about possible. Okay? Possibility. You are possibly true or not. Example. It wasn't about illness. He may be out of the hospital. So. So it wasn't a bad illness, so he may be out of the hospital. It is possibly true, okay? Might or might not. Possibly not true. Yuri might not go to the party. She isn't feeling well. Good. So we are going to use could to talk about that something is true okay possibly true example dana could be at home her bedroom light is on so it is a possibility okay because dana could be at home and can't can it's definitely not true example he can't earn much money he works as a teacher okay so he can't earn much money he works as a teacher Okay, in the joke, okay, did you understand the joke? So, he can, it is definitely not true. So, he can't earn much money because he works as a teacher. Now, we continue. Okay, now, think about, okay? So, in simple words, the modal verbs, we are going to use them to make guesses about the present or the future. We have here 
the structure, okay? So the structure is modal verb plus a verb in simple form. So it's simple. For example, she could be from England, okay? I'm assuming, okay? I'm guessing. I'm guessing that she's from England, but I'm not sure about it. That's why we use the modal verse to guess about something in present or future. Now, here we have another chart, okay? With this chart, you can see that we use must when we are certain, might, may, and could when it's possibly that happens, and can't when you are sure that it isn't happening. Okay, so we continue. This modal verse so express how possible or certain something is. Remember, okay, you make deductions or speculate about something in present or future. Now here we have, let's practice, okay? Here we have a situation. I need to talk to Sophie. Can you give me her number? So we are going to continue with the next. Just a sec. Where is it? So I don't have the number, but I remember that I have it somewhere. What could it be here? The modal verb that we need to use, okay? So, I need to talk to Sophie. Can you give me her number? Mm, just a second. Where is it? Where did I put the number? Oh, I, I must, I must have it somewhere, okay? This is the model. I must have it somewhere. Yeah, because she gave it to me yesterday. So, uh, how we found it, okay? So remember that when you are 100% certain, we use must. Now, we continue with the numbers, okay? Let's practice again. Another situation. Mm, where are you going to go next week? Uh, I go to Paris next week. What could it be the modal verb that I can use? May. I may go to Paris next week. And Nick, come with me. What could it be the another modal verb that we are going to use? Is might. Nick may come with me. But I don't know if Ali is coming with us. She could be working. So pay attention. Here we are using may, might, and could. Okay. These are the modal verbs that we are going to use them when are less likely. Okay, so they are weaker than most. Most is like 100%. May is like a 50%. Might like a 30%. And could is less. Might and could are like 30% that something happened. May like a 50%. And remember the previous one that it was good, uh, most, it is like a 100%, okay? And now we go with the next one. Let's practice. I'm hungry now. I'm hungry now. I'm starving. But you have lunch. You have just have lunch. Mm, but you be hungry already. So you can't. This is the model verb that we are going to use. Can't. Because you just have lunch. So you can't be hungry already, okay? She gave it to me. Yes. Very well. So now, can't 
is the opposite of most. Remember that most is 100%, can is highly unlikely, okay? So we are going to uh, use it when something, or I'm sure that something is not going to happen. So next slide. Now let's check your knowledge. Test your knowledge. Here we are going to use the modal verbs and you have to decide which one of these are the correct? Number one, they be away for the weekend, but I'm not sure. So think about what could it be the answer? They be away for the weekend, but I'm not sure. What could it be? They can or they may? They may. They may be away for the weekend, okay? But I'm not sure. So um, I'm not sure. It's like the 50%. I use may. Second, he could be French, judging by his accent, okay? Could be French. So it's possibly, okay? It's like a 30% of possibility. Because if you use can, it's that you are sure that it, it is not true. So he could be French, judge him by his acts. Number three, the exam be easy. Nobody knows. So the exam might or it can't be easy. Nobody knows. So what could it be? Might. So it's a possibility, nobody knows. We are not sure that it is easy. Number four, she's been training eight hours a day for three weeks. So she has been training eight hours, eight hours a day for three weeks. So she can be exhausted or she must be exhausted. So I'm sure. So. What is the correct one? Must, okay? Must. And the number five. He be from the USA. He doesn't speak English. He be from the USA. He doesn't speak English. So the answer is can't. He can't be from the USA because he doesn't speak English. It's something that I'm sure, okay? These are the modal verbs. Continue with another activity. Look at the picture. Look at the picture and correct the put the correct modal uh, verb. Okay. Look at the picture and write the correct modal verb. Here we have the Eiffel Tower. Here we have the picture about a girl and here we have a picture about a boy so the girl is asking to the boy can you help me and the boy you need to comprehend the sandwich okay so what could it be look at the picture okay he the french he be visiting the eiffel tower she be lost, she be friend, and she knows Paris well. So the number one, she can be French, okay? She might be visiting the Eiffel Tower. She could be lost. She must be French. And she may not know Paris well. Oh, these are because we are the, using the modal verse to speculate about the situation. So now we are going to practice the vocabulary of the unit, okay? About natural disaster. Remember that on this unit, we have started with natural disaster. So we have blizzard, landslide, flood, drought, earth, tsunami, and hurricane. Then we have Number one, a prolonged period with no rain, a heavy snowstorm, a movement of the surface of the air, 
a high wave caused by an earthquake, a heavy storm with very high winds, the movement of earth down a mountain, and this is caused by heavy rain. So what are the answers? A prolonged period with no rain, it's drought. A heavy snowstorm, the blizzard. A movement of the surface of air, earthquake. A highway caused by an earthquake, the tsunami. A heavy storm with very high winds, hurricane. The movement of the earth down a mountain, landslide. And this is caused by heavy rains, a flood. Okay, vocabulary about this year. So now we are finished the list. So just remember that you have to keep on studying, uh, see the sessions uh, at Zoom, ask us for all the doubts that you have, and we are going to uh, finish our session with this. Okay? The purpose in our life is to be happy. So enjoy the trip. We have finished our lesson. See you next time. If you have any questions, you can find us at Zoom sessions.